Greetings from the farm. Welcome back to the Mondo Farms channel. My name is Chisha Folotia and I'm so glad to have you with us again. So right now I'm standing at the top of the farm. This place is called Apex and if I pan around you can actually see everything around me is downhill from here. <laughs> so this is the top of the farm and behind me you can see the uh, one of our reservoirs. We call this the Apex Reservoirs. Today's episode is a wrap up, a wrap up of the land clearing. December 18th, the TLBs were with us for a month and today the last of the TLBs has actually departed the farm and gone back to Lusaka. So we're going to take a quick look at some of the land clearing that we've been doing over the last 30 days almost. Stay with us. So for the last month or so, we've had two TLBs with us and spending a lot of money and a lot of diesel to do the land clearing in order to plant the crops that we needed to do for this rainy season. So I'm standing at one of the fields right at the top of uh, Apex Reservoirs, which I introduced just a few, a few seconds ago. And this field is going to be filled with uh, eucalyptus. And there's another one down there, a very funny story about that one. We wanted to fill this whole hillside um, with the trees and then we realized that, oh no, it wasn't going to work because there's particularly very good ground, uh, good soil uh, on that particular one. So we had to take it away from the trees and then give it to the crops that we'll plant some time later. And then we had to open this other section here behind me, which I also haven't named. Um, and we add the one hectare that was down there and we had to put it over there. It's, it's been a work in progress, the uh, whole land clearing for this year. But with it being our third year here at the farm, we kind of get to know a little bit about what we're doing. I mean, we really can't be doing something for three years and not know what we're doing. Let's start this episode off, this video, by looking back at some of the uh, TLBs from when they arrived to some of the works that they've actually been doing. Greetings from the filling station. I'm not at the farm yet, but I will be soon as we deliver the uh, TLBs, as you can see in the back there, uh, here at Engine, uh, what is this place? Engine Stalilo, I think it's called. And we are filling the TLBs uh, as they head back to the farm for the land clearing for this year's tree crop, as well as uh, some of the field crops that we're doing.
greetings from the farm. Land clearing started. Gotta watch my feet here. Yeah. Walking up a bit of a slope. However much cardio you do in the gym, it's not the same as in the real world. Okay. Behind me you can see the CLBs are back and doing their work. We're, uh, how do I describe where we are? On the side of the big hill, the river's down there, the Kongo River, you can see it. And we're carrying this where we're going to be planting some eucalyptus. Part of our eucalyptus crop for this year. Yeah. I'm going to show you a few clips of the land clearing as it is. Hopefully, catch my breath. Everything's an uphill struggle. Excuse the pun. <laughs> So, nice new area that's been created. Uh, for this year's crop, started early, early-ish. I love that view. Chonka River Valley, my home. Here's a TLB here. This is a road. So, manje umute, the thing I like. To the full of saving, I am a tree very moon. I don't say. Then, to the full of the most cool, 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 but single to get. Because Nishi Mambo Chasso, yeah, just toss up. Yeah, that's Nuku flagging, Nish Nuku flagging our moon lane. Yeah, <coughs> wow. Okay. Never many months are thinking, huh? Eh? Yeah, pigs. Okay, yeah, okay. Take control of farm, eh? Yeah, it's a new offer. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you you waste your plan yeah. yeah. So, could you So, could you road the mini pita by apex? So. So, I always request get it, get it. My reservoir, my channel here. Apex the pan, and the apex you always get. Then, but you then you road the manje. You tend to muka yenda straight go down. Uh huh. Ista continue jamene ya. Ko ya ko west get ija. Uh huh. Kachani. Eh. So what I said is, Popanga Road, Imamukong in a Nilemba Pamap, then Imamukonga Vario. For example, Igari stands easy. That's why it's Napanga, Jerry. 
Napanga road is straight. Mm. Only to find that by the guard after so my my child is so. So now I mean it is it is so up my map is longer straight. Yeah. But Muriel is a longer mamen. Is a longer yeah. How do you bring it up at the end? Then I just let it out. Ika pongi na kumunda manje pa just tinga ngi nisa munda. Iza bwela kuno. Pena munda zasi ya uku. Sa iti kapela zasi ya uku. Kome tiza nati road balance. So once I've made my stamps, I've got to go to the school. Yeah, once I've got to go to the school. So I've got to go Jeremy, if we are, if we choose to stay, we will get our salary. Come on, Papa. Papa, Papa, but stay with us, Papa. Mr. Define, the wind break up. Yeah, but I feel like I'm going to be here. Why? Okay, my man. Then you come along to clear number. And you, unless you are going to be able to get your hands on your hands, you can get your hands on your hands. So that you can get your hands on your hands. Já pesa que mais que mais pesa. Ele é o que não pode ganhar, tá? Hum, o nani? Só tu achar ainda que i, se tu a dia amanhã, tu a fumi amanhã. This is about one hectare. Yeah. Yo ni kwa wanyi kwa hichi, andeni tuwalaya mo, tuwasaria mo, muka timu ya, next to Apex, next to the reservoir, you wait there, ida down kuna ndo. 
Morgan, why is it that Mujamna Kara Muli was asking? Ni ame netu kuno tenga. Jacob singa pensi. But in Defa Trishiga, because from here we need to go for things. To, to, China, to, to Canada. Uh -huh. So, I am yeah, next to Musa to Ika and Ombe. I am next to Ken to Ken Kako. Beans in that blanket. Namai Karipas Yakuja. Then you move to the bottom of it. After that, I am within ten. That could be as I am ready to investigate what you like. But the forgiveness of the father is very, very good. Greetings from the farm. We're in the middle of our land clearing for this year's uh, tree and vegetable crops. And uh, wow, it's a lot of it happening. Look, you've got one TLB over there, the cat, and one TLB over there, the bell. Um, in the first years, we used to have one TLB. And think about it, one TLB will take 20 something days, two TLB will take half of that. And it's the same cost, literally. And you get things moving much, 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 much faster. The TLBs, in action here during the land clearing for the 2021-22 uh, rain season, growing season. We've done clearing for um, the uh, soya beans and the other stuff that's coming down. At Eastgate, we've done some where we're going to be putting the uh, rain-fed onions at Dubai and here at this yet unnamed field. Um, amazing, 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 amazing. Progress is moving really, really well and we're happy with what's going on like that. This is one of the most stressful times of the year for us because we've got a rains are here now and you've got to get your land clearing in as quickly as possible. Okay, that's it. Down here, okay. Seat belt on. Okay, and dirty hanky from having fallen over in the bush. Four by four engaged. Just have a quick look at uh, what's been cleared so far. That was the field. Uh, up there. And one of the fields we cleared it. And you see this area has been left. Oops. Copyright issues. Um, so here's the sort of sort of little forest thing that we've left. And this is one of the fields. It goes out. Looks like East Gate, if I'm not correct. And there's Dubai down there. Uh, there's the main farmhouse buildings. And I'm driving down a very steep uh, slope. I'm about to join the main road. I love this whole 4x4 in the bush, bumpy road driving stuff. <laughs> so, this is where we're going to have some more of the trees. Uh, when the clearing has been done. So where you see the um, rocky, rocky stuff is where we really uh, put the uh, the trees, the uh, eucalyptuses and the pines. It really grows quite well. I think there's issues of competition. Um, here on the left is Dubai, which was a first time we're planting it and just have a quick look at that beautiful, beautiful soil there. Oh, stunning, stunning stuff. And we'll be coming in with some rain fed um, onion. Here. And on the other side of it, look at that hill, full of miala, a mabwe, the mialas. Um, and this is going to have the uh, pines and eucalyptuses, uh, particularly eucalyptuses here. And this is the other part of Dubai, uh, towards the river. And this is going to have the rain-fed onions coming through in a little while. Here's some of our 
workers houses and I shall be rushing back to the Fokto town because I have a meeting very soon. Eh, balancing, balancing, balancing. plantation Junction road, the miniature plantation here and down river riverside. You go then pass straight here and the apex. So I just saw just saw the sala. Do not imagine machine and they go and they go Canada. So na buera to no one visit and they go Canada manch. Then just saw just saw to na buera. Chitenge ma apu kujia tiambe po Canada. Kaji pa ya ni chikuru bus. So, I put in the Canada. Poi tani ngai ya enda koso pangon. Moi sana bure paru. Ah, fuck a chap. I road just in a Jewish street. So fuck up. So the young are straight, straight how you. Okay. Malaya, 
Almost one game, mom. Because in Chito, you are not going to I'm not going to get any money. I mean, priority is not my priority. It's a tough job, bro. Yeah. Now, you must go back at it. Hot, you must go. Nice. You must go train. So, you must have shopping up, bro. So, you. I'm going to Tavale tangu nuko Westgate, so abati ni flagging atienda choka kuiva view atienda papex. Not yet, I have to go to So, go to fence, you go. Tiza sio kama mwana ngawi ndi breaka futi mwenda sila soka za bora pali yaka. Ya. Goes Papex kai ni hapa. So abatenda so much. Tenda straight mwana tenda ku Dubai. Kati yangu na distance choka pawa ya kubwa. Na wamu na flag nzima yangu na kumbuyo, ma flag zako tayari straight pawa. Sawa pana figa ba, river view, reservoir. Sodi ngi na mfu tia mene, ti basi wenzi la matio biz. So I can dig a bit nasty. I go car, windy breaker, chokam road, and you move field. I bandi pa anju i japa mene penze. Una ba video na ma buffalo zina wa prosper. Paka anju i this anju. So I bandi ka forest, windy breaker. I jamen na kam ba i pa gari. Ya mene higwila higwila kwa kriif dot ndi ya kakamega sala hapa West Gate Reservoir West Gate Reservoir
a bow point. River View Reservoir. East Gate. So, up and get out to the entrance to the family of the Wacha kiri ya manje rodi Ya kuri Stefan Kwa East Gate Sef kushinga chewo ipelewa Stamping by Dubai. I live in the Dubai My Ukes So I keep on going to block on a picture Kese vima trees vivenze hapa Na tuma wind breakers somewhere So tunabu wata icho sata ifu na ipanga one block Tuma kiti pachanti Ma stamps yunze Ma icho sa ma stamps Manja ba track tenga ngen So na hivya panga sensi ya nga blog ya kama Mbaya mbili la ma 
fire break first so he need a fire break in what you forgot to buy in 2020 So that was a quick look back at the uh, work of the TLBs um, doing the land clearing for this year's crops. The tree crops as well as the uh, field crops that we'll be doing. I'll take you down to uh, Eastgate just shortly. So as I said, standing on top of the farm, I am standing at uh, just near Apex. My car is parked up there near the Apex Reservoir. And have a look behind me and you'll see a very gravelly, rocky type of uh, uh, terrain and what we found is that this is the stuff that works for the trees the pine trees and the eucalyptus trees grow particularly well in this type of terrain whereas when you look down at uh, that field which we that field down there uh, one hectare block down there which we call Bombay that one's got very good soil and we should be putting some veg crops down there future plan probably will involve maybe some shade houses and some greenhouses because it's quite well positioned in terms of uh, its, its uh, location in proximity to the main farm buildings so it also looks to be reasonably hiddenish hiddenish type you know the, the location by the way we're always grateful for those of us who uh, like the videos that we post here on the Mondo Farms channel and as well as those who subscribe. So many, so many, so many of you from across Africa, across Zambia, of course, across Africa and across the world who are subscribing to the Mondo Farms channel. And we're so pleased to be able to be sharing uh, what we do and how we're developing this African farming enterprise. So please, that thumbs up button you see at the bottom of the video, press it press it and then also subscribe so that the Google al algorithm the YouTube will let you know whenever we post a new video which is around about every week to 10 days or so things are a bit busy now especially this time of year um, and the rains are finally come as you can see up in the clouds finally 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 because it's been crazy 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 so I've parked now uh, my car is parked around about near where our, our farm ends and this is the easternest side of the uh, farm and we call it Eastgate which if you think about it makes sense because the western side is called Westgate and there's an en there'll be an entrance to the farm from here so here you can see a beautiful um, field that will be filled with uh, soya beans in a couple of uh, days the rain delayed we had a little bit of rain the beginning of November and then um, dry, 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 dry and everybody was panicking and blaming the meteorological department. Why can't you forecast the rain? Weather is very, very difficult to forecast. And these um, periods come along like this periodically. So the rains are finally here, but we're not planting right now. We've got to wait for what uh, John Basera describes as effective rains. Not just you see Mvula, eh, hey, Tishanga, uh-uh, you will go, go wrong. So we're going to let it rain a couple more times and then we'll be coming through with our soya. Uh, this field, Eastgate 1 and 2 and the other one over there, we're going to have the soya beans uh, in here. We will then be planting vegetable crops during the year. As you all know, it's very important to rotate and leguminous uh, crops like beans are very important uh, to have as part of your cycle so whenever we have new land we open it up with uh, a leguminous crop last year we used uh, some beans as well as some groundnuts this year we've gone for soya uh, and this beautiful field here look at this soil oh look at this soil look at this this is proper proper stuff we've had a um a tractor uh plow this a couple of uh, a few weeks ago and then we sort of waiting for the rains to come so we shall keep you informed uh on the channel as to how the soya beans crops uh, here at eastgate uh, will be faring as well another quick stop i am uh down at sort of near the bottom of the hill and you can see more of the hilly um type terrain with lots and lots and lots of rocks um very little use for vegetable and crop farming so we we put as we said trees trees mitengo 
and that's what we'll be doing up here and we know the tree project as uh, many of you know is a long-term project it is something that will give us some revenues in decades to come so we are happy with it so our farm as you've been realizing is a mixture of uh, sort of good so soil uh, for crops as well as rocky sort of hilly thingy so lots of uh, gravelly type of terrain um, you can see this part wouldn't work for, for crops so that part would and hence we block it off with a little bit of a, a stream a gully here and then the trees will continue past the road one block over there and another one over over this side and believe me you will see trees planted in here in a few uh, weeks time we're really hopeful that the third year of tree planting 2022 january will be quite successful and we uh, fix some of the issues that we had with uh, the tree crops last year so we name the fields it's really important that we name our fields because then it really sort of allows uh, work to move on effectively we have to know where people are and what they're doing and know the sizes of the, of the farm because you know we take our farming quite seriously here right in front of me is the beautiful eucalyptus eucalyptus plants that we're planting that were in the shade house um, that side and now they are being hardened and brought out here because it's now time for them to almost to be grown so take a very quick look at them this is all part of our land clearing because obviously we're planting we're, pl we're clearing the land in order to be able to plant uh, this eucalyptus grandis So there's a couple of, about 20,000 of them here. Uh, and they are now mature and ready to go. They are ready to go. We've just been waiting for effective rains. In previous years, we would be planting, uh, transplanting and putting the, the trees in the ground uh, around about February because we were delayed with the land clearing. But this year we shall be doing it, um, I'd say early Jan. By then the ground is uh, well saturated and everything should be good. So, so behind me, uh, this piece, it's a piece that we've nicknamed, named, christened, baptized Dubai. And it's a nice piece of uh, soil, good loamy uh, sandy soil that we have here on the farm. And our plan for this one, on this rainy season, is that we're going to be putting down some onions, uh, rain-fed onions, sort of semi-irrigated during this January period. As you know, we started the onion project uh, and it's now starting to make sense and it's become a major, major focus of our crop farming here at the, at the, here at the farm at Winterthorn. So you've got about a 0.5 hectares here and some of it was previously farmed before and the tractor has already plowed it. This one, the tractor didn't, this piece here on this side of the road, they didn't, they didn't plow. And over there, you can see where the uh, TLB was, was, was doing some stumping and it's still sort of not ready. There were some previous crops in there. So this is Dubai. So there you have it. A uh, very quick look on this video as to our tree clearing um, exercise here in uh, 2021 rain season. We started on November 17th and today is December 18. The last of the TLBs has finally gone back to Lusaka and we can now really focus on what we're going to be planting. Planting trees in a terrain like this, it's a hill, it's got rocks and we can't really plant crops in there. So we plant our, our pine and eucalyptus uh, trees on it. And as you saw earlier, places like Eastgate, where we'll be putting down the soya, as well as behind me here, at Dubai where we'll be putting down some onions um, that's part of what we're doing please join us again on the Mondo Farms channel um, we always have videos posted every sort of week to 10 days 
as to some of the things that we're doing here as we develop this uh, Zambian you know farming enterprise um, the subscribe button is for you to subscribe and then you become part of our community and YouTube will always let you know whenever a new video is posted um, the like button is for you to like the video and that helps us a lot through the algorithm because YouTube is kind of like the more you give the more you give the more you give so if you like us please support us by pressing the uh, like button on this video and also the comments we always want to hear some of your questions and comments and we do get round to them uh, as soon as we can on top of everything else but I will always try and uh, pay attention to as many of the relevant comments as we can my name is Joseph Holotia I am signing off on this video and we shall see you very soon on the Mondo Farms channel thank you very much for joining us you take care bye